everyone, I'm here today with Electra from Electra Love's top international stylist who is going to style for us two date outfits. Yes, what to wear on a date. I know it's most girls' biggest dilemma, I would say. Probably. What to wear? It's You're looking, scary. You're looking like you could go on a date today with a leopard print. Am I? Leopard print is quite a good thing to wear on a date, I would I say. love leopard print. So do I. I'm it's kind, kind of obsessed. It's kind of like feline, but also could be, because it's a t-shirt, it's quite casual. I like it. You could definitely go on a date. Well, I... Although I think he'd be lost for words. Oh. It'd be one of those dates where they go, uh, uh, uh. What are you wearing? Yeah, you'd scare him. Um, Make him fierce. Thanks. Likewise. It's like a mutual fan club going yeah. on this day. <laughs> Tell us about the outfits. <laughs> so, day date. So, if you're going to a daytime date. Well, like oh. coffee and cake, or like yes. a lunch, yeah. afternoon tea. Exactly. So, florals are really feminine. I think. Everything about a date, when you're going on a date, think feminine, little touches. So florals are big for spring, summer, and um, this sort of play suit's quite flirty. This kind of bright pattern stops it from being too mumsy, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. And I think the fact that it's short is quite cute, cause yeah. it, but it's a place that you feel quite safe in it. Yeah. And then I've just, this is, I know this is quite a bold statement, this jacket. You could probably wear this with a little denim jacket. I love this jacket. jacket. But this is River Island. I think it's really super cute. Yeah. Lemon yellow is a massive colour for spring, summer. It's almost neon. It is. Almost isn't it? Neon. Yeah. But equally, how cool would this look with like skinny black jeans or a little t-shirt thrown under? Yeah, it's fab. It's got a really good shape here around the waist, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think a really big tip about um, jackets like this, always push the sleeves up because it always shows off a wrist, draws your eye to the waist. I just kind of feel like it finishes a jacket like this. I always forget to up. do that, and, and always in magazines people mm. are styled like that. I don't know they? why, it's I just really feel like it's a, it's a good styling tip that it's so easy to do. I mean, if it's freezing, obviously you're not. <laughs> yeah. But if you, you know, summer day, like, and you get your wrists out, wrists are quite a, like, attractive feature. That's quite an old fashioned thing to think about, isn't it? The wrists and mm. also ankles, it was always. No, Daring to show them. Yeah, exactly. But nice. I like that. It is nice. And I think something like, you know, a little cuff, a bracelet like that one there. I didn't see that. That's yeah. gorgeous. Just to kind of add a little something. Yeah, definitely. I think it's nice. And then finally, mm. little pumps. These are great. Super comfy, flat. I think something like this is a really good option because you could go to, you know, the park or coffee and you're sort of, you kind of go anywhere really, shopping. Well, I suppose it also you don't want to look like you're trying too hard, do exactly. you? Exactly. So this is all, you know, it's really nice. It's actually quite smart. It's quite daring in a way yeah, with this jacket. But then with a flat pump, it makes you feel a bit more, a bit more comfortable. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you want to be able to just sort of go anywhere if the date takes you, I don't know, if you're going on a surprise date, you don't know where you're going. It's quite yeah, a good definitely. outfit to wear. So what about the vampy evening? It depends where you're going, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I think an outfit like this would be great if you're going to a gig, to dinner, kind of... Most bars you could sort of get away with an outfit like Definitely. this. Definitely. So, gone for the obvious red. Red is a really good, like, eye catching colour. It's the colour of love and all that. So, Sirens. Yes, exactly. Um, and I really like this dress. So, it's got, yes, a little peplum, which is very flirty. Mm. Any sort of frill is quite, you know. And But the shape of the actual dress underneath is quite fitted. So, you're kind of having that little bit of something and then not showing too much off at the same time. Yeah, it's time. a tease, Elizabeth, exactly. isn't it? Um, but to keep it kind of young and cool, I've gone for a leather jacket over the top with studs mm -hmm. um, and a hard belt. And then the shoes are quite cute. I really like these. I love those. So H&M um, and they I like the fact that they're shiny. A little mm. bit of snake skin kind of gives it that evening feel. Um, peak toe. Yeah. Again, like having a little bit of toe, you could do a nice nail varnish, and then the heel, nice and sturdy. Nice and sturdy, because you don't really, on your first date, want to be kind of tripping along, falling over the wall, no. <laughs> falling down curbs, which and I think... happens to me all the time. <laughs> and an ankle boot is great, because it doesn't, again, it doesn't look like too try hard in a yeah. way, it doesn't look like you're kind of dressed up too much. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, with the leather jacket, I've done the same thing, so pop the sleeves up, again, drawing your eye to the waist. Mm -hmm. It's all about little shape. hints of sexiness, isn't it? Yes. And you've got your legs out and you've got a bit of chest, so you kind of covered your shoulders. If yeah. You kind of feel what I mean, balancing it out. It's good balance, definitely. Which would you go for then? I would probably wear this little play suit. I think day dates are quite fun because you could do that the picnic thing, which I think is quite romantic in my head. 
<laughs> yeah, it depends who you're going yeah. with, though, doesn't it? And a nice candlelit dinner, I don't know. I think evening you've got more of an escape, though, haven't you? You know, if it's going really, really badly, you, you can, can say, look, I've got to be up early in the morning, I've got away. to go, or get someone to do the fake call thing, I've got to go. So Whereas in the daytime, it's more difficult, I think. It's true, you can't really get away. I can see myself in this. Yeah, I think it would look good, especially with the blonde. Do you think? Yeah, mm. I think it would look good. I have to get that. Thanks. Tell us which one of these is your favourite outfit, please, because we would like to know. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a vote off. And also, date night disasters, put them in the comments below. And date night outfits, if you want to upload those to Instagram, then do. We'll put all the details in the information box. Make sure you're subscribed and give it a big thumbs up. And we shall see you next time. Bye. Bye. We've got two very diverse looks here mm. and different ways of wearing florals. So maybe we should start with the dress first. This dress is from Little Mistress and I really love this detail. I love the black edging on it. It's really cute. It's super flattering shape. V-neck, A-line, everyone will look good in this dress.